YouTube, what's up? I'm Ryan, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna go over this workflow that you can see in the background, which produced the demonstration you saw at the beginning, which shows interpolation between two prompts when generating music with a step. It's pretty cool. This video is gonna be very, very brief, um, and I I'm just gonna go over the workflow such that you can modify it and tweak it yourself to get what you want. The workflow, is using some new nodes that I've just added to my node pack. I will link to that in the description. You can find there this workflow included. Um, give me stars or whatever. Oh, and subscribe to this channel. All right, let's go ahead and start at the beginning. We are using an empty latent audio of 45 seconds. And we're using this new audio latent info to get the number of frames. So the frame rate, the frame rate that a step operates at is 10.77. So we're just going to use that. And you can see for 45 seconds at 10.77 frames per second, we get 483 frames. And I'm using this manual feature because I wanted to be able to show like the distinct behavior of doing these hard cuts and also the fading. Um, and thus it requires some manual intervention for this manual drawing of the feature. I've added 483 frames which we obtained a second ago. You can make this fully automated though with other features in my node pack. Uh, for example, here's a time feature, uh, that, but there's others too. And I'm gonna make videos with this cause it's gonna be sick. Uh, like motion feature, for instance, the average motion of a video um, we could use to control this interpolation. So we take our, our feature, our drawable feature, and basically we use this node to normalize it um, between zero and one. And this is the important uh, new new node here, the temporal mask. So this, is, this mask is the proper shape, allowing us to take advantage of the hook system developed by the powerful Kosinka Dink. And what this allows us to do is interpolate, not between two prompts, but between two sets of conditioning. Um, and we do that using this mask. So we've got, we've got the, the mask, the audio mask, which is created with these values, oops, with these values, um, we've got that mask and we have the inverse of it. And this prompt will be applied to the mask and th this, this prompt will be applied to the inverse of that mask. Eventually, uh, when I figure it out, or one of you guys figures it out, hopefully, we can use this uh, hook system here to create hook Laura, yeah, we could use this hook system here to uh, interpolate between audio Lauras, theoretically. This might take a little bit more work from yours truly, or perhaps from the Cosinkadink himself. Okay, so then this is, this is uh, from Cosinkadink, this right here. The whole hook system actually, I think, is his doing. Um, so round of applause for him in the comments. Uh, and then we go ahead and we sample for, for 50 steps yada yada that that stuff's boring and then this is just to visualize it make that little visual at the beginning and we use knob to give it a little bit of knob editing ryan here you can tell because i'm wearing sunglasses i wanted to pop in and assure you all that yes it does work with the lyrics as well i will demonstrate that for you presently so you can see here i've got two sets of lyrics and we're just going to see what that sounds like over here okay one second, resume preview. Pizza, 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 pizza. Balls, 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 balls. Pizza, 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 pizza. <laughs> Back to the other guy. And that's that. All right, stick around, subscribe to the channel, come back for other videos. I'm going to be doing other crazy shit with this prompt interpolation. So yeah, let me know if there's anything else you want to see down in the comments, like, share, subscribe, yada, yada. I'm still Ryan. Thanks. Bye. Pizza, 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 pizza,